Good morning. It's Saturday now, and I just heard that Fenris and Nasilla went through another little time warp. So that means that we need to grab our cards, find out which day they landed on, so I know which classes I'll be attending today. I did say it's Saturday, but I didn't go to any classes last night. I was just wiped out mentally, and this month has been so chaotic and just extra that I've decided I'm going to recoup another day. Give myself a shot at this. Plus, you know, where's the fun if I have to skip more than I attend? I like the time blocking, the challenge of it and everything. And I want to embrace it as much as I can this month. And with exams next week, I'm running out of time. So let me grab the cards and we'll see where we're going. First, I was going to, you know, go through and pull out all the days that we've already landed on and stuff. But I didn't make a note of them and so I don't know where I've been. Anyway... Again, these go through the first two weeks because that's the card numbers that I have. The wild is the 13th. Okay, I moved you. The lighting really weird today. I don't know if it's a time of day or what, but I, th I think that'll work. There are our numbers so randomly up there, or our days rather. Got one through eight in here. So let's see where we're going to land, or when we're going to land. And we'll go with this one six which means the sixth slot one, two, three, four, six, 12 i really hope this isn't a thursday if it's a thursday i might redo it of course it's a thursday i think that's the majority of what we've gotten but if you look thursdays i'll study all that's just too much decision making so i and yeah no I, i'm gonna redirect her you know nasilla came out of the portal and looked around and before she could figure out what was going on, she noticed Fenris running to another portal. So she had to follow him. Yeah, or, or, we're, or we're going through another one. Okay, I also took the fifth out of there. I took all the Thursdays out. Jack's playing with my river rock. Okay, so I'm giving them a shovel. I have one through six in here now. We got the seven and the eight. So let's see when we're going this time. And we're going to have the second one. Okay, so we're going to the 6th, which was a Friday. So we're going to repeat yesterday's, which is probably a really good idea. So I like this one. But there's a lot of variety. I think I go to like almost all the classes. So this morning I have restoration. So since I finished Harry Potter yesterday... I get to start a new bookmark and read some Agatha Christie. That's an awesome way to start the morning. So, nemesis. I haven't read a Miss Marple in ages, it feels like. Okay. Fate. Even though Nasilla went through time, that doesn't mean she escaped the fate deck. So let's see what was in store for her today. Give these a little shuffle. Lots to do in the mornings. Including, I need a shower. <laughs> I'll be doing that soon, too. And I have to take my mom to get her hair washed. So, she doesn't like to wash it in the shower. The thought of it just kind of grosses her out. Okay, ready? Ace pop quiz. That could be good. Earn 30 minutes of reading after all classes tonight. Oh, I like that. So, I think I can do that in any class. Or do we have to figure out which class I aced it? I don't know. We will see. I get 30 minutes at the end of school today. That'll work out good. Unless I'm compelled to skip all my evening classes again. Then it's going to be a wash. But we'll see. There's, there's a whole day in front of us. And the only thing scheduled today is my mom getting her hair washed. So I get to run into Kroger because they're right side by side. Grab my Cokes and some cat food. And then just sit around and gossip with the girls. All right. Time for me to dash off to class and take a shower. Okay, see you in a bit. Look, I got dressed and I have clean hair. I had them wash mine while my mom's was being done as well. It, it's a little flat because they put a lot of product in my hair and it's so thin that that really weights it down. But anyway, I did go to a restoration and started a new Miss Marple book. There's only one more after this, which makes me really sad. But this one's quite unique as expected from Agatha Christie, is that Miss Marple gets a letter from somebody who has 
passed away. Actually, a character from a different Miss Marvel book. And she is tasked with solving a mystery, a crime, but she doesn't know what crime it was. She doesn't know who the victim was. And she doesn't know when, where, anything about it. And she's just kind of being led on, I, I, I don't know, some kind of a, a goose, a wild goose chase. I, I don't know. But it is intriguing because, yeah, how do you solve a case when you don't even know what the case is? But you know Miss Marple's going to do it. So I'm really enjoying it. I had to break it up into a couple of reading sessions. I read a little bit before taking my mom for her appointment and then finished after we got home. Which means it's already past noon. And, uh, yeah, it, it took over an hour just for hair washing. And I am not going to dock myself for that. So we're going to do a little bit of creative timekeeping again, like we did yesterday. And I'm going to ignore that noon cutoff for my morning classes. And we're just going to roll right into my next one, which is Implain Summoning, where I will be starting yet another new book. Awesome. So this time... We're moving on um, to murder your employer, which, you know, now that I think about it, the books that I got for Impling Summoning, it, it's kind of funny because it's Patriot Games, so kind of playing a little game, you know, and then are we teaching our Impling how to murder your employer? Because this, again, is another book based around a school setting, which I love that whenever... I never mentioned it with Patriot Games, Jack Ryan, because this is like a prequel to Hunt for Red October. He is a professor, so at um, a Naval Academy. So there's a lot of things revolving around school and classes and grading and his students and everything. And then, of course, we've got Hogwarts with, you know, they're talking about their exams and everything, lots of school settings. And I don't think I had another one. Um, as good as dead, the school environment wasn't really in there, so that wouldn't count. So I've got two that was with the school setting. And if I remember correctly, this is like a school for, yeah. <laughs> so this one is a thriller with a killer concept. The McMaster's Conservatory for the Applied Arts. A luxurious candlestine college dedicated to the fine art of murder. So we've got another a school setting in this book. And... It's just perfect for the Aurelium, you know, for immersion, reading about other students going to classes, taking exams and all that stuff. So part of our Implane Summoning is actually going to a school to learn about the dedicated fine art of murder. I hope Nasilla knows what she's getting herself into. All right. Well, I've got an hour with this one. We'll see what we learn. Maybe this will teach her what not to do, what not to teach her implant. Because, you know, she doesn't need to let loose some form of chaos in the world, right? I mean, there's already Fenris. We don't, we don't want to unleash more. But I'm going to go and find out how to murder your employer. So I will be back with y'all after this class. I managed to attend my full hour of, what was it, Impling Summoning, and I have to say that I am really enjoying this. I know there was like mixed reactions to it. I guess people either really enjoyed it or didn't, but it's right up my alley. It's quite unique in the dry humor. It's, yeah, I, I'm here for it. I'm excited to get further into the book, and I'm really glad that I'm liking it because I forgot this is a signed edition. It was sitting at the Barnes & Noble's customer service when it first came out, and I was drawn to the cover. But I noticed after I had gotten home, or no, I think maybe out in the, yeah, I think I noticed out in the parking lot after I bought it, that the page where he signed is bound upside down in my book. Actually, I noticed after I got home, because I remember going back up to the store, went back up like the next day, and I was like, um, did I get a weird printing or did they all come this way? And they checked all of the copies that they had in the store and there was only like two with the upside down page. And I was like, I hope this becomes a big hit because, you know, I might have an extra rare edition, but so I, I don't think that happened. But anyway, I think it's pretty cool that my signature page is upside down and we've got a map of the school itself. It's 
I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so I have to set this one aside. I think I get to go to this class again tonight. Look, I do. But in the meantime, and this really worked out in my favor that I got to do Friday again, because I get to go back to King of Scars, and this class only meets on Friday and Monday. So having another hour and a half in this will make a huge difference because the font is quite large. So I can make substantial progress in that hour and a half so i'm going to rush off to my only afternoon class right yes my only afternoon class and hopefully tonight i won't wear out and i'll actually attend my evening classes for once i don't think i've done a day where i made it to all of my classes and i don't have i even done that yet <laughs> if i have i know it hasn't been very many so Okay, I am going to wander off to Animal Studies and spend some more time in the Grishaverse and see how I get on with this one. It is a good book. It's just, it's very easy to forget once I sit down. It's, it's not one that I'm itching to get back in to find out what's going on. But maybe since I read it yesterday, you know, getting right back into it, maybe that'll pique my interest a little more. All right, I will see you after this. Guess what? I went to an afternoon class during the afternoon. It's shocking. I actually did the whole hour and a half with this one and I am so close to the end. So I have no doubt I'll be able to finish this during my next class, which will be incredible. So I am going to get another book finished. At least I, I should. And you know, I'm still Every time I start to get into this one, it changes perspectives. You kind of got three storylines going all at once, you know, which are of course going to culminate together in one big thing. But I think what it is, is this is all set up for part two in the duology. And again, it, I, I'm still like, eh, okay, even though I'm this close to the end and I am intrigued by little bits and pieces of each individual storyline. I'm not, you know, sitting down my book going, oh, I wanted to know. I'm just like, okay, what's next? So considering all the way into this, again, it's not that it's bad or boring or anything like that. It's just slower paced and definitely a setup for, I think, rule of, yeah, rule of wolves. So I don't know, but Let's forget about animal studies because I am done for that one until Monday. That's when I'll get to finish that book. And if we look at my schedule, I have two evening classes that I fully intend to attend. Intend to attend. So first up will be elemental studies. I kind of regret writing that off yesterday because if I had gone to that class, you know, I would be much further in, obviously. And it definitely would have, you know, it would have made this class possible to finish this book at least. But, you know, I, I didn't go yesterday. So instead of three hours with it, I'll get the one and a half. So I'm going to go to this at some point tonight. And then I have one more later on after it gets dark with getting dark so early now. That distinction really isn't that important during April... It was a little bit more during August. It made a big, big difference because August, it doesn't get dark till like nine o'clock, but it's already creeping up on 730. All right. I'm rambling again. So I am going to start this class at some point relatively soon. It's about 615 right now. So I've got plenty of time and two and a half hours of classwork to do for the, for the rest of the evening. So I will keep you posted on how it goes and hopefully I will get more invested in this one. So I haven't decided if I like the main character, the female, Catalina. I do like her name though. All right, I will see you after this. Okay, it is no longer Saturday night, obviously. I'm sure you can tell by the lighting. It's, uh, we're on Monday morning. So I need to fill you in what happened because again, I had another eventful weekend. My mom is having issues with her tooth from that root canal that she had done. And we were managing it with Tylenol and I started her on the antibiotics. She responded really well within the first 24 hours of being on the antibiotics. Things were going great. 
but then the the pain and the discomfort would start coming back and being as she has alzheimer's dementia we don't know which one it is it, she's not the most reliable of narrators because uh, she has trouble with time you know describing how long and she also um everything is like for the first time again for her almost so it's hard for her to compare what it you know she can't say if it's as bad as it was before when this happened because she she's just not capable of those comparisons so it makes it kind of hard to gauge and so i was kind of watching whether you know she was having difficulty talking or chewing and that kind of stuff so it, it seems that she's experiencing more soreness than actually another issue but we don't know so i called the dentist this morning and just heard back from them based on everything that we know and I completely forgot my mom grinds her teeth at night so more than likely the grinding and just being sore from I guess they clamp the tooth and everything because she's like sore here and uh, she's not really talking about the tooth area so I, I think it's just a matter of it's just residual issues is what the dentist is saying so we're gonna touch base with them on Wednesday and if need be she'll go in on Thursday because yesterday on sunday my husband tested positive for covid <laughs> so, it's just like are you kidding so i had to text my daughter who's coming back from miami on wednesday my husband was going to pick her up because i still need to do the cataract thing so i can't see at night so me driving to the airport at night would just not work so he was going to go into work late he won't be able to do that and this is what happened when they went to michigan we got covid and my daughter my husband had driven so he drove home and she flew so she had to take her uber home from the airport so this time i had to tell her we've got covid again just stay in miami but she can't because of work so it looks like she's going to be taking an uber home from the airport so apparently my daughter can't go out of state if she goes out of state we get hit by covid so, so far uh, i'm okay i took a test this morning because i was feeling a little under the weather i but if anybody in my house gets sick, I get sympathy sick. So I, I always kind of take on their symptoms. It's all, I think it's all in my head, but enough that I actually get a little sick. So according to the COVID test, I am clear. So well, hopefully it'll stay that way. My mom doesn't have it. It's just my husband, poor thing. So he's sleeping and or dealing with my mom's tooth. And it's just like, are you kidding me? I, I'm tired of having stories for y'all there's too many stories oh and uh, so of course i called my contractor to delay the kitchen we still haven't done the the kitchen sink stuff that has to be done he was very appreciative because apparently his wife has uh, some immune issues and so he was like thank you for letting me know I was like no problem I was like once my house is clear then we'll we'll schedule this so it, it's just too much too much but if we're just gonna roll with the punches once again, hopefully my mom were managing it with Advil and Hopefully everything will be okay. I do have a new night guard for her. So we're gonna get that set up So I'm hoping tomorrow it won't be as painful for her because it seems to be the mornings are the worst or after she eats so that all Connects with it just being really bad soreness. So I don't I don't know but you know the universe again it, it needs something else to occupy its time because we've had our share all right so let me get back to saturday night i had two classes i did go to those which is a miracle in itself so i went to elemental studies did another hour and a half of this book and i am still on the fence with it i like the guy character he's just yeah i really like him i haven't decided if i like the female character or not but the way it's written it's so obvious that the guy has just, you know, he's head over heels for our main one, Catalina. And it's so obvious for the reader. And she just doesn't see it. She just sees him as being antagonistic. And after a while, you get a little tired of her heat. You know, she, it's a little drawn out. You know, all of her, her stuff is like the story starts getting going and then you get caught up in her head again and to where she's misinterpreting 
what he's saying, what he's doing, when it's obvious he's head over heels for her. So I, I keep going back and forth, keep going back and forth whether I'm enjoying this or not. So I did do the hour and a half though, and I'm making progress. So maybe, maybe I can make it. I don't know. We will, we will see. And then I went to Impling Summoning, working on bringing up that demon. Maybe that's what I need. Or is it the demon summoning? Is that why the universe is messing with me? Mm, no, it started messing with me long before Aurelium. But yeah, so I, I had to look. I didn't write it down, of course. But I went to my second class with this one. I am really enjoying this. It's unique, although it is a little bit slower paced. And I found myself... My mind was wandering a little bit. Granted, I've had a lot going on. <laughs> you know, my mom with her teeth. And um, at this point, when I was reading this, we didn't know my husband had COVID yet. But you know, I, I was needless to say distracted anyway with my mom. So I am making progress on this one. Not a ton, but I am getting there, and I am enjoying it. So that's a good thing. So that rounded out Saturday. And I am going to say goodbye for now. I've got to get dressed and then see if I can salvage Monday and we'll start up another one because it is time for exam week. And yeah, I am not going to be making straight A's this time. There's no way unless a miracle happens, which I, I'm not banking on. <laughs> All right. I hope you've enjoyed this one and that I will see you when exam week begins.